Three Corners is just your average small town. Standing on the banks of a flood-prone river with a large pub anchoring the village at a once famous three-way intersection. Now it's simply convenient. As people chase the country dream, the country lifestyle, just not the unceasing agricultural workload. Population, 2,000. Ish. But like all small towns, scratch the surface and you'll be surprised at what you find underneath. In that sense, Three Corners is really no different to any other small town I know. Except perhaps for some of the characters you might meet. The phone number. He sat still. Completely still. Bathed in the yellow light that passed through the honeysuckle over the window and streamed in invading the dark corners and sending the cockroaches scurrying back under the stove. He sat still by the phone. Cream and cracked, it came from the old house with him to this tiny apartment. He'd insisted he wanted his own phone. He didn't want one of those mobile thingies that you press and swipe and flash about. He wanted a phone on the table with a chair that he could sit at and have a chat to his friends. There had to be something he could look forward to after all he'd been through. He wanted to still be able to chat to his mates. He knew he couldn't keep his old number, a number he'd had for over 40 years. He was in a different area, they said. It wouldn't work here. Then give me one that will, he'd told them. After a while, they came back and let him know that they had a silent number available. But there was a problem. It had been used before by an adult company. Good, he said. Can't be bothered with kids. Uh, No, they told him an adult company. It might mean that he'd get calls from old clients looking for the company again. No problem. He replied. They were reluctant, but he was adamant. I'm 76 years old, he told the hapless service consultant. I need this phone. I need to talk to my friends. They reluctantly gave him the number, and he's never had such fun since. He talks to his friends, and they have a laugh, but mostly he looks forward to the calls that come through. Not for him but for the services that the adult company provided for their clients. He's discovered that the adult company the number used to belong to actually provided strippers and prostitutes. It rings three times before he grabs the grimy receiver. Pen and paper on the table, a list in front of him. Hello? A young female voice. Oh, hello. He answers back. His voice belies his years and he tries a line out. How may I help you? Uh, we're looking for a man for our big hen's night out. You've called the right place. (laughs) He cackles. The young voice grows suspicious at the laughter. So would it be you coming? Could be. For the right price. Uh, how old are you? 76 years young and I look quite... She hangs up. Good for my age. He finishes bursting out in laughter. He puts the phone back down and watches it, willing it to ring again. And when it does, he snatches it up after two rings. Hello? Yeah, g'day. An older voice, male this time. How can I help you? Uh, Yeah, I'm looking for a stripper. Oh. He clucks sympathetically. All out, I'm afraid. However, if you call this number, they can help you. They've got quite a variety, you know. Oh, cheers. He reads out an eight-digit local number for the hardware store makes sure that it's taken down correctly and rings off before he bursts out in laughter again. (laughs) He wipes a tear away, crosses a line out on his list and goes back to watching the phone. Today's episode of Three Corners was produced by our maestro. Posty. And featured the spotlight tones of... Jeff C. Field. Cassie. Andy H. And... Jack. For more stories, go to hittheroadjack.com.au or subscribe to the Three Corners podcast.